everybody, what's happening? We're here with Nick Yu from Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, Nick, tell us a little bit about this game. I know it started out on Kickstarter, right? Right. So from Kickstarter, we had a, about 70,000 backers, and we ended up with a funding of $4 million for this game. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, it's been uh, in production for about almost two years by now, and uh, we are about three months away from the release. So excited. Very excited. You, you know, um, you should be very proud. I mean, obviously the community embraced this game. Uh, it's an iconic character, but tell us a little bit about uh, the gameplay of Mighty Number no. 9. So the gameplay is basically you know, a retro 2D, uh, 2D side score game, you know, uh, the old-fashioned Japanese action game. But uh, with uh, you know, Keiji Inafune and his new ideas, we kind of wanted to speed up the whole gameplay, the tempo. You know, uh, you know, the classical action games that you have to keep your distance with the enemy and you shoot them far away and so you know, be caref being careful not to die. But this time we added this feature called uh, uh, Absorption Dash. So now we're kind of forcing the players to go close and you know, personal with the enemies. So that's, the, uh, you know, the fast, that's what's making the fast tempo uh, gameplay and that's what we're aiming for this time. Excellent. Um, what about the, the boss battles? That's, you know, from, from the previous series, the, those, those were, you know, uh, an, always an epic part of the game. Is it, is it keep that same kind of field when you get to those points of the game? So basically you get eight uh, bosses uh, per, so, so one boss is per each level and there will be like basic eight, uh, eight levels. And um, the boss battles, you know, compared to, you know, other games, it's a little bit different the way you beat the boss, because you're not actually trying to kill the boss or anything like that, but you're actually trying to save them. So by saving them, you have to absorb their, you know, the bad part of them. So every time you, uh, you get them to a certain stage, you have to actually absorb their, uh, their powers. And if you don't do it in time, they will actually heal the amount of damage you just gave to them and become, you know, normal again. So that's kind of, you know, you have to remember, uh, uh, which section does the boss get you know, stunned or all, all that stuff, and you have to pay attention to your distance between yourself to the boss so you can get in time to absorb their powers. So it looks like a lot more strategy involved with these. Yeah, for sure. Gage? So I really like the level design of these kind of games. What, what are you guys doing with the levels and maybe working with the stronger power we have of newer consoles and on just all their platforms to utilize and make the levels as awesome, awesome and crisp as possible? So all the levels in this game will be a uh, facility in this world. So for example, a military base or a power plant or something like that. Um, so each stage will have their own gimmicks or puzzles to solve. And once you gain the power from the boss, you actually have to use, sometimes use them to solve the puzzles throughout the stage and, or and sometimes just help you go around easier. And you know, that's the kind of thing we kept in mind when we, when we were making this game. So you know, just not just beating the boss and to the next one, and beating the boss to the next one, but you actually have to use whatever you, whatever you get from the bosses. And sometimes, it depends on which boss you beat them first, the bosses will become your ally and then come into the stage and save you sometimes. Well, that's all the questions I had. I just wanted to say, like, this is incredible that it's actually happening, and the, the amount of backers we had online and the huge internet following was a huge thing, and I'm glad that my number nine is actually coming, and I'm going get, to get to play it soon, so I'm super stoked for that. Um, Will, you want to close? Just one last question. Uh, how many hours of gameplay can we expect to get out? So normally when we test it here or uh, when we allow people to play, they can beat one stage within, like, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So at least that's eight stages, and then we'll have the boss stages and some of the extra stages. So I would say at least six hours. And then there will be more uh, online features, online co-ops and online battle race mode. So that's another you know, uh, five, five hours or so. Very cool. Well, I, I think we're all excited about Mighty Number no. 9. Um, it's great to hear about the new features, and I'm really curious to get into these boss battles now. You got me really excited about it. Um, but once again, you should be very proud. We can't wait to get our hands on it. Nick, thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Keep it here on Press Start TV.